Humans have been terrestrial animals for millions of years and are not adapted to living underwater. However, it is theoretically possible for humans to evolve adaptations to live in aquatic environments. The process of evolution by natural selection could favor traits that improve the ability of humans to survive underwater over time. This would require a number of adaptations, including changes to the respiratory system, limbs, vision, and thermal regulation. Hi, my name is Adam Anderson, and welcome to Life's Biggest Questions. Today we will talk about, what if humans evolved to live underwater? Let's dive on in. One of the most important adaptations for living underwater would be the ability to extract oxygen from water. Fish have gills that allow them to extract oxygen from water, so it's possible that humans could evolve a similar structure over time. Gills would require significant changes to the respiratory system, including the development of specialized organs to extract oxygen from water and expel carbon dioxide. This would require a rewiring of the respiratory system that may involve the modification of existing organs or the development of entirely new ones. To be able to swim effectively, humans would need to have hands and feet that are adapted for this purpose. This could involve the development of webbing between the fingers and toes, as well as changes in the shape and size of the limbs. Webbed fingers and toes would provide humans with greater surface area to propel themselves through water. This adaptation could take many generations to evolve, and may involve changes to the bones, tendons and muscles of the hands and feet. Underwater environments are often dimly lit, so humans would need to evolve better vision in order to see in these conditions. This could involve the development of larger pupils, better color vision, and the ability to see more clearly at longer distances. The eye structure would need to be modified to allow for better vision underwater. This could involve changes to the size and shape of the eye, as well as the development of specialized structures to filter out harmful wavelengths of light. Humans would need to be able to hold their breath for longer periods of time in order to survive underwater. This could involve the evolution of larger lungs, more efficient oxygen extraction, and better control over the body's use of oxygen. Changes in the respiratory system would be necessary to allow humans to hold their breath for extended periods of time. This could involve the development of specialized proteins that can store oxygen for longer periods of time, or modifications to the muscles involved in breathing. Water is a much better conductor of heat than air, so humans would need to evolve better methods of regulating their body temperature. This could involve changes in the thickness of the skin, as well as the development of specialized organs to regulate body temperature. Humans would need to evolve a layer of insulating fat to protect against heat loss, as well as specialized structures to dissipate heat in warmer environments. Living underwater would require a significant restructuring of the human body. In addition to the adaptations described above, Humans would need to evolve changes to the digestive system, immune system, and reproductive system in order to live in aquatic environments. These adaptations would be driven by natural selection over many generations. It's important to note that the process of evolution is slow and unpredictable. Even if humans were to begin living underwater, there is no guarantee that they would evolve the adaptations necessary to survive in this environment. Additionally, the development of technology may make biological evolution less necessary, as humans could use tools and equipment to live underwater without evolving any physical adaptations. Overall, the evolution of humans to live underwater is a complex and uncertain process that would require significant changes to many aspects of the human body. While it is theoretically possible for humans to evolve adaptations to live in aquatic environments, it is unlikely to occur in the near future. I hope you enjoyed our video today please drop a comment in the section with an ideas you may have for future videos.